Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aya. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you one of my most favorite journaling materials, stickers. So stickers come in various forms and styles. They're all lovely regardless. It just depends on your preferences and where you plan to use them. So the first style that I have here are the plastic stickers. These come as well in different design sizes and print quality, depending on the brand, depending on when, where you get them. Majority of the plastic stickers that I have are from online shops and some I actually got from South Korea when I went there back in 2018. Majority of the stickers that I have right now, I'm able to use in both my planners and in my journals, which applies also to other stickers. If you are able to go to South Korea, one of the best places to go to buy uh, stickers would be Artbox. It's a variety store that caters to journalers and hobbyists alike. You'll probably enjoy it more than you think. Of course, in the Philippines, you can never go wrong with SM office supplies and national bookstores. Uh, these are the ones that I got from SM office supplies. This one in particular is quite different because the stickers are actually of a paper material. Whenever I travel, I also try to buy different stickers from other countries. Like these ones I bought from Taiwan. But generally, you can get your stickers anywhere, uh, especially with the pandemic now. I just order ma majority of my journaling supplies online. Some are also gifts from my friends. This, uh, these stickers are actually from my friend Christine. I think she got them from Poundland in UK. These ones are from Azaza from her mermaid crate subscription and these Marvel stickers and the rest that are about to be shown in this video are from common room when I went for my vacation last January to February if it's not obvious enough I love Marvel so I have a lot of Marvel stickers so a lot of my stickers I actually get whenever I'm on vacation I go a lot to Common Room, to National Bookstore, and I also try to order online. Out of all the different kinds of stickers, I actually prefer ones that blend well with the paper that I'm using. Although vibrant stickers with really cute designs are really good, I like it when the stickers actually look like it's part of the page itself, especially when I'm journaling. Like these ones in particular with a white paper-ish background, they just blend in whenever you stick them to the journal. I like these ones as well. These are from National Bookstore. I especially like that these look like stickers that come from the 1940s, I think. So if you check it out, there's a lot of like pinup girls and the design actually looks like came from I don't know if it's 1940s or 1920s but it's really cute I like this design uh, with the same kind of stickers I also got these from Shein actually these are one of the newer stickers that I have so I've yet to use these stickers in particular for a journaling page so I will add a sticker swatch clip by the end of this video for you to see how they all look once they are stuck in paper. So apart from these really cute sticker flakes, I also tend to buy sticker books. These are actually a part of a sticker book that I bought in the Philippines. It's a collaboration between ABC, Googly Gooies, and June Degan. Unfortunately, I've already basically destroyed the book. I ended up cutting up all the stickers and putting them in a folder. So these ones are stickers from the Singapore subscription from ABC's 
store. These ones I got from Jerry Bookstore here in Jeddah. Uh, they they really come in handy for planners because they have really small stickers. I shared a few of these to my friend since there's a lot of multiple copies of each sticker. So other places apart from bookstores, you can also try going to IKEA. IKEA actually has a lot of sticker sheets. They're actually more of labels, but you can use them for your planners and your journals. I especially like these ones because they're really random. I love that they they usually make their sticker sheets in in a pattern, I guess. These ones are not actually for your journal, but more for when you want to stick something on your window on, or on your hydro flask if you have one. These are more of a vanilla kind of stickers, but I just wanted to include them here. These are from Miniso. So one kind of uh, plastic stickers that I don't like are these kinds. I actually did not expect to get these from Shein, but yeah. Because they're quite puffy, they don't work well with my journal. So, I just wanted to show you how I stored my stickers. If you see, uh, if you're familiar with the stickers available in the sticker book by Abby C. Jundigan and Googly Googies, I actually cut them all up and I put them all in this. This is actually a business card holder, but I used it to store my stickers. Obviously, I don't have that much yet to fill up the whole folder, but... Uh, having this is actually a good system of, you know, just keeping your stickers. 